he's never coming back here with me ever again. I think we can go for two lunch times, honey. Mm. If you can get the format van to fill out, of course that would be the most efficient way. So awesome, Steve here coming at you from this massive, massive government complex building here. And today I'm going to tell you how to get an extension for your tourist visa. First of all, you need to get your ass over here. The quickest way is to simply get a taxi from wherever you're staying. Most likely, it's uh, in the center of Bangkok, Sukhumvit, Asok, whatnot. You can get a BTS to Duong Wang or very close to this place, but it's gonna take you at least 45 minutes. So spend a little money. It's about 320 baht, 350 baht. Get yourself a taxi, maybe share it, and just come here directly. That will save you so much time. Secondly, get here early. I, I wouldn't have thought, but I actually spent three and a half hours waiting after I got my number, my queue number. Number is now like 91, and my number is like 171. So I think we can go for two lunch times. So try to get here early. Everything's more convenient. Everything's faster. And also bring bring photocopies of your documents. You need a photocopy of your passport with your photo and your details. You need a copy of your e-visa, which I forgot, unfortunately. And you need a copy of the visa stamp that you got when you entered Thailand. You know, you need those three things. You need your passport, of course, that's number four. And you get a form which you fill out here. It takes a couple minutes. It's, it's three pages. It's not that long. It's pretty standard name, dates, whatnot. Um, yeah, just just get here early, make sure you have your documents. Make sure you have 1,900 baht if you're extending a tourist visa. In my case, it was a TR60. I got a 30-day extension. Uh, there's plenty of ATMs. In the old building, last year, there were no ATMs. That was really frustrating. But just in case, make sure you should always have 2,000 baht, in my opinion. You should always have 2,000 baht on you anyway. All right? So, immigration, division one, that's what you type in in Google Maps or uh, Grab app, get a taxi here. Um, I, I was lucky I had my, my beautiful assistant, Dr. Charlie, to accompany me, so it was not as boring. I could hang out with her. Look how nicely she does it. Here we go. Pew. We had food in the meantime. But uh, yeah, this, it's, it's pretty much straightforward once you know and have all the details. All the documents ready i didn't have it ready i was not very well informed and i had to walk back and forth to the coffee shop get photocopies it was it was like a mad madhouse it's at a very big madhouse if you're not well prepared anyways come enjoy this beautiful building come enjoy the food court get here early and uh that's it and that's all for now enjoy and one more thing guys as a bonus if you get here early enough you get to enjoy this lovely amazing food court food if you get here too late, like I did today, and in all fairness, I didn't even know this thing existed. If you get here too late, they're all gonna be closed. Cause they start like really early. They start around like 6 a.m. or something. Get here early, get the ticket, enjoy some Thai food. If not, then you'll have to end up uh, eating at one of the two fast food places that are just uh, out there. We had the chicken and the fish, which is okay. It's okay. But uh, yeah, if you get a chance, try out Food Court. I know Charlie loves Food Court. That's her nickname, right? Yeah, I picked the lucky number, J171. And the number right now is like, when we left, it was like 90, 96 or something, right? <laughs> so we were like, well, there's a few numbers ahead of us. So we're going to take some time to enjoy this amazing meal here. We even asked for a little bit more fries. so. Yeah, she actually gave us some more fries, like five pieces more. <laughs> but hey, Charlie here actually learned something. She can just ask for things and, and she might even get it. So it's important that you ask for things and you demand things when you feel like being treated unfairly. The fries still look really meager, but at least uh, we got five or six fries more. That's something. I had got myself some uh, fish with salad. 
Charlie got, uh, I don't even know what that is. That looks like a chicken, like guy to me or something. Whatever that is. Charlie's a bit upset. The government officer saw her and she said, Are you Thai? And she said, Yes. And then she said, Well, if you're Thai, you should know that you need to dress accordingly. And apparently, because her shoulders are showing, it's not appropriate dress, which is also why I got myself a shirt and long trousers. I don't think that's necessary, to be honest. But it was funny that she said that if you're Thai, you should be dressing appropriately, which is, I don't know, maybe government rules, but Charlie is really angry, pissed now. She's never coming back here with me ever again. Right? Don't be upset. <laughs> Incredible! It took us from 2 p.m. almost till 7 p.m. Get my immigration, my visa extension, and get back into the city. We're back in Sukhumvit in the Terminal 21, everybody's favorite food court. Yeah, we're back. We back. We made it alive. Lesson learned. Next time, go there at 9, 9 a.m. Go there early. Sleep in the taxi and sleep in a taxi bag. The traffic here is just horrendous. Horrendous here. And during rush hour. Where's your parents? It's gonna crush the kid in a minute, maybe. Oh, that's not Where's the parents?